I'm just wondering if it's effective. There's a difference between leadership and effective leadership. And I worry that you're listening too much to him when he doesn't yet have the skills. I think he's spot on. I've made too many basic errors over the last couple of days, and it's left me very vulnerable in respect to that. This morning, a bit of a physical thrashing up the hill. Neil, hard work? Oh, massively. You know, my heart rate apparently went up to over 109. I was um, absolutely battered. That's not a high heart rate. I train a heart rate about 180 every day. OK, well, I was feeling a pain in my chest, and there is a history of heart attacks in my family, with my dad at 60, my uncle at 55, and my brother at 47. So I thought, I thought I'd better mention it. You know, my dad died super young heart disease as well, but it's given me a far and a fight not to go the same way. This isn't a physical competition. I'm not looking for the fittest or the strongest, but I do look about how people react when your body goes under stress. OK, as far as I see it, three people are vulnerable. First of all, Neil, a disaster on that leper crawl, hopeless on the hammocks, embarrassing on the physicality. <laughs> Stuart, yeah. at the moment, too much brawn yeah. and not enough brain. And you are leading, but the truth is, at times, you lead them a little astray. And what happens, the group suffers. Michelle, in some ways, you didn't do anything. In fact, that's wrong. You fell off a line and you sat around a campfire. But is it because of a lack of confidence? But I've made a decision, and the lesson from this journey is learn from nature. Listen to Darwin. It's not the most powerful animal that survives. It's the most efficient. This is Mission Survive. And Stuart, I just don't believe ultimately you'd make it. I know, as well as you do, that the performance I delivered here over these few days wasn't good enough. Come on, give us a hug, say your goodbyes. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Good luck, Bill. Pleasure to be alongside so, so. you. You know, I've had a great experience. I've sampled some real tough tasks and, and been with some real good people. I made some poor decisions. Stuart, what are you doing? Put your hands up, snub it out. And they've cost me eventually. Someone needs to show that sort of eye of the tiger, if you like, and come out and come to the fore and to win this competition. Take care, both. Well, Stuart's such a great guy and so liked, especially by the other celebrities, which makes the decision for me even harder. Uh, but ultimately, you've got to lead in survival with your brain, not with brawn. You know, muscles alone, you're dead. And if you're leading other people as well, that's when you can get in trouble.